All right, let's go with a conditional probability example. So here we got a table below. The table below shows the connection between NFL teams with a quarterback that was a first round draft pick and whether or not they made the playoffs in 2010. So I just got this data um, from looking at the playoffs last year and looking at all the NFL teams. And down here you can see how it's put together. Um, you've got teams that made the playoffs, teams that missed the playoffs last year, and then whether or not they had a quarterback that was chosen in the first round or not chosen in the first round. And there's down here a total of 32 teams altogether, so it should all add up uh, just like that. All right. So now, find the probability that a team has a first round quarterback given that the team made the playoffs in 2010. Well, let's look at these two events. There's two events that we're looking at here. Um, having a first round quarterback is one of the events, and the other event is making the playoffs in 2010. So those are my two events. I will call uh, having a first round quarterback can be event A, and making the playoffs can be event B. So if we think about our, our formula for conditional probability, it says that we have to take the probability of, um, it, it looks like this, the probability of A given that B has already occurred. Well, when it's in a table like this, it makes it very easy for us to find, okay? As soon as you see this word given, you should know that this is conditional probability, and you should also know that the only thing that you are concerned with are, are the data that comes after the given part. So this says, given that the team made the playoffs in 2010, so the only thing that I'm paying attention to are the teams that made the playoffs in 2010. I don't care about the teams that missed the playoffs. I'm saying, given that a team made the playoffs, so I'm talking about these 12 teams, what is the probability that a team has a first round quarterback? Well, there are 12 teams that made the playoffs, and of those 12 teams that made the playoffs, given they made the playoffs, eight of them have a first round quarterback. So the probability that a team has a first round quarterback given that the team made the playoffs in 2010 is 8 out of 12. And we could write that as, let's see, 8 out of 12 is going to give us about the same as 2 thirds, which is about 67% or 0.66 repeated. So there's our probability for that. That's part A. Well, let's take a look at a different question. Part B, if a team did not make the playoffs in 2010, what is the probability they have a quarterback not chosen in the first round? Well, this is conditional probability as well, even though it doesn't have the word given. Whenever you see the word given, you know it's conditional probability. But in this case, it just tells us if a team did not make the playoffs in 2010, there's the given part then what is the probability they have a QB that was not chosen in the first round? So now I'm only focusing on the teams that missed the playoffs in 2010. As it says, if a team did not make the playoffs in 2010, so I'm only concerned with these, what is the probability they do not have a first round quarterback? Well, in this case, there are 20 teams altogether that did not make the playoffs, and 10 of those teams do not have a first round quarterback. So here, for part B, the probability would be, the probability um, of A given B <clears throat> is equal to 10 out of 20, or 50%. And you can write, you can write your probability as a decimal, like it did up here, or you can write your probability as a percent, like I did right here, or you can write it as a fraction. Lots of times it just depends on the problem, and that will determine which answer is the better one to give. So there's an example of conditional probability.